Yo, no jump, you know what time it is. Myself, Mr. I'm next, Hood Attenborough. And right now, we're live and direct in Brixton, Summer Layton. And today, man's gonna be giving you an insight on a very special artist, the one and only Sneak Bow, Brixton legend. And listen, just forget me. Stay tuned, like, share, and subscribe. It's crazy. For, for the people who don't yeah. know, who is Sneak Bow, the, the, the infamous man? Come on, sneak to the bow. Get me from Brixton, South London. Yeah, man, I've just been in the game for a bit. Been doing my thing on bashment beats, some drill beats, and um, dance. Right. Like, yeah, right. I do everything, man. I'm just, I just yeah. got different bangers, man. How yeah, did you man. get the name Sneakbo? Sneakbo. Um, well, my name used to be Sneaky. Yeah. And then some of my friends call me Bobo as well. Okay. So, yeah, I just joined up the, the both of them, man. Yeah, Sneakbo. So, what, where would you say, like, the, the hip hop and rap? started influence came from like what made you think yo man can i could do this rap thing like, i can spit in the beginning it's like i used to go beef with like my bridges okay. i feel no this pain so you won't understand me when josie died i washed that pain with bottles of brandy okay. a little yeah. you want to see a half a mil you gotta see a pound every minute yeah that's about 60 pound every hour yeah 100k quick that's power yeah. well, them and they're rapping and and then yeah i just thought let me jump on this thing and Gigs at that time was hot, like. Yeah. If you're talking the hardest, gigs better pop up in your thoughts as an artist. Chase. Talk in the market, everybody wants to know where walk in the park is. Popping, yeah. So, so gigs just blew, and I'm thinking, Rob, we can like, th there's someone local that it's not just America now. Yeah. That might seen on the TV all the time. So. Yeah. What, what time was that? That was like 20, 2009, 2010. Yeah. Yeah. 09, 09, oh, yeah. Around 09, 010. How's it been growing up like in Brixton in this area? Um, how's it been? It's Trials been, and tribulations. I know there's a yeah, lot. Yeah, man, it's been it's been crazy. Like I lost friends, yeah. friends in jail. But other than that, is there's there's positive from it. Like it's made me who I am, and yeah, I just love it around here, man. I love yeah. it. Summertime is nice around here. Yeah, you love a little summertime. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on. Obviously, we just we just moved from. Uh, Summer Layton, yeah, we're yeah, going to A-Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the importance of those areas? Like for the people who don't know it. Obviously, me being from the ends, me from from me being from London, I yeah. know for for years you've yeah. been you get me repping, yeah. saying Summer yeah, Layton, yeah, yeah. A-Town. But for the people who don't know, what's the importance of that? I basically, I grew up in Summer Layton, like my mum's house is in Summer Layton, but where I chill and with the man them were in Angel Town, innit? Yeah. So yeah, that's why. I, both of them ends are even Mightsfield. Them yeah. three are like Mightsfield, Loughborough, Angel Town, and Summerlee. And those are like my blocks in Brixton. Man. So what, your first your first studio session was with a little cool peak yeah. art ads. Yeah. How did you? What did you just meet them guys off the ends, or did you go school with them, or yeah, how did like, like you lot come into? Like I grew up with them on the ends. Like I can't really say the first day I met them. Yeah. It might have been like someone on the ends. Well both friends with Ads might go to school with someone from the yeah, yeah, yeah. like yeah so I can't really remember but we all definitely grew up just around here you know what I mean mm. like, one of the first videos I could find on obviously YouTube was um Peak Boat Sneaks I'm a boss girls on my dick they be beating the pop cats on my line they be theming the rock Bob be my name in the OP spot yeah that's yeah, like yeah, 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 yeah. 11 years yeah, ago yeah, 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 and, yeah. Uh, the, the drift is different back yeah. then like. <laughs> man I, what's them jeans called when they the, the boot cut yeah, yeah, man, I'm Mad flares and that. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Crazy. But like, that was way back, and like, that was when YouTube kind of just started like coming into existence, really. Like, yeah, yeah, before yeah. them was like DVDs yeah, and yeah. that kind of era. Like, what was the importance of those kind of moments, like the DVD era? And like, how was it for artists to even get on them? Because I've seen old school rips of videos and you being on yeah. them as well. Yeah, you know what it is? For us lot, it was kind of easy because the DVD people want to get Brixton yeah. on their DVD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they'll just shout us and come round and yeah, that's how we used to get on that like, street selected and all them things. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, it's like I just used to flood YouTube, man. Yeah. And just put videos on there like every week, every two weeks. And yeah, that's how it kicked off. It just got big from that. Yeah, 2010. Yeah. 2011. Um, what kind of other artists were, were like on the rise at that era? Like, yeah. The names when I think about that era, because it's like the era you can't, I can't forget. It's yeah. like, let's say Benny Banks. Yeah, I did it down 
I send the man in, got a bump, got a bitch. I said, certified bank shit, I do the damn thing. Squeaks. It's like they call me Big Squeako. Bitches know my steel. Getting fucking money, man, I count it by the zero. Joe Black. From the ground up, hard work pays off, so I got my pans up. And any type of snake don't bring him around us. Yeah, real rap. Um, odd ads, show shallow. Yeah. Just because we never had the luck that was given, I'm stuck in the system. Oh. I'm out here, mad paro. Them boy told me I'm wanted, Jack Sparrow. Ah. Cash test it. Yeah. Right, let's talk about pain then. Let's talk about struggle on the pavement. Uh -huh. Late nights when I was trying to get cake in. Like, what do you think what, um, helps with look, that, that kind of longevity? Because You've been here for over 11 years. I don't know, it just what works for me is just I just stay humble and keep working. Mm. I think, think something that I feel like works for you without you maybe even noticing is just your authenticity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, keeping yeah. it like real. Like I don't feel like you've changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. You've, you've grown up. I've grown up, but I know what you mean. I just there's something about me that's just the same. I don't even do too much. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What made you guys jump on this thing? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I don't what? even know, you know. Bro, I'm wearing a fisherman hat, Adidas top, fake Gucci belt, <laughs> the, the the what's the the, the boot cuts, the boot cuts and Adidas trainers. No, the drip was bad. <laughs> <laughs> Back then it was bad. But what? My life hurts, feeling like I just got burst. I never turn soft and I can never be a nerd. No, summertime, I be still trapping on the curb. Bro, this is this is 11 years ago, yeah. and you look. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know. It was just, it was just summertime, and we're just, we're just having fun, just fun Yeah, yeah. We're just, them days we didn't even care about like nothing. We're just having fun. Mm. Just, what was that? When did White Chicks come out? Because um, I'm thinking, is it because it just came out? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know when White Chicks. Yeah, out. I don't know what made us jump on that. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> I don't know. Like, but you know what's so mad? That. We're ahead of our time because now there's a big tune. Yeah, go on. The Jacksonville. Yeah, one. yeah, the yeah, Jacksonville yeah, one. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Have we done that like years yeah, ago? That's what I said, your head, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on, it's mad. This area is proper important to me. This is where I grew up. I'm here like every other day. Um, my brethren Gora lives around here. Yeah. This is where he, he grew up. So yeah, man, this is just the block. That that video you were just showing me, yeah. that's where we um, made it over there, yeah. <laughs> right there, right at the shop. And then this was our youth club over here. Okay. But it's gone now. Wow. And then, yeah, man, this is the block. This is the strip. This is the A. We're out here. But besides, obviously, the, the, the come up with the music, obviously, there was, obviously, that like, every when you're young, you're coming up with, yeah. with the man them. Yeah. You're involved in little situations, yeah. street shit. Like, how was how that? that side of, of life like because I know there was a lot of like, a lot of dangerous moments a lot yeah, of ups yeah. and downs man yeah <sighs> just gotta deal with it man just gotta deal with it like when you look back what how like what do you ever think I'm oh, just shit yeah man just happy man survived when I when I look back and I watch videos of like 50 of us on pedal bikes yeah I'm thinking fuck man like <laughs> <laughs> no what were we doing fam where were we actually going yeah and when we catch someone today like what's like what's this happening? Is, this is crazy. Like yeah, we're even mad on camera. Like it's just all bait. Like, yeah. So yeah, man was young and yeah, things have changed now. Man's grown. Focus on music. I'm trying to be positive. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like besides, even though it, it is kind of being a little bit of a negative, I feel like yeah. it did help with the the propel the like it propelling your music yeah, because. Yeah. Like just that street credibility, yeah. I feel gave you guys a hold on the youth yeah, music, yeah. Yeah. like because everyone's like, "Oh, where you from? I'm from Brixton. Oh, you, yeah. you're around those yeah. man." Yeah, no, hundred percent. When I, this is why I always come back here and I always like represent here because this is what made man. This yeah. is what is like a part of man's thing. This is what people love man for for Brixton for what goes on around here. Um, besides you being like. Lit, you've always had that that vulnerable side of you, especially yeah. in the music. Yeah, you've got yeah, like yeah. songs like Pain in the Hood. You don't really want to see my dark side. I'm only 17 and I had a hard life. Growing up, saw a couple friends go by. So I'm still grow well, I guess it's all life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Years back, yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. like just you being very vulnerable. Yeah, you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, what, what was the inspiration behind stuff like that? Stuff like that, that's from like me listening to Tupac and. Okay. All that stuff. 
even though he got songs like Hit Em Up, where he's onto the people and whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he, there's real life stuff going on and real life pain, and man just want to express it. Man, not really talk to people and tell them your life, what's going on your in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so when I'm yeah, when I'm writing music, I just it just comes out in there. Yeah, Do you yeah. think it was like a form of counselling for yourself? At, yeah, at no, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Therefore, counselling. And yeah, it just feels good like listening to my story on a, on a beat and mm. yeah man. Hey, hold on, I'm just gonna disturb these things in the hair shop. <laughs> wait, I, I'm thinking, yo man, man, man. Brixton Recording Studio, this is Jaja Souls' place. Yeah, Get yeah. me. Why, why would you say this is important to Brixton? This is important because I've made bangers in there, J-Boy's made bangers in there. Mama, I wonder who's talking to them. So we made a trap line jump like Jordan. <laughs> who's Jordan again? M24. I ain't tryna run man down no more. Car got smokers' lungs and I ain't tryna diss on the internet. Or stick. Serious. Got the gal, I'm curious. So they give it up fast and furious. I had a mask on like Ray Mysterious. It's grizzy. Chap chap in a bando. I don't wanna look like you. My young nigga with the Rambo. You be getting. Yeah. All of us has like come from here. M dog. I don't really know about this friend friend thing. I get money, get rid of this 10 10. Big watch on my wrist, bent 10. Why I get. To feel me so like. This is an important booth. Judge of Souls, big homie, he's been around there for years. Yeah, for the people who don't know who he is, like, what, what's his story like? His little Judge of Souls, he's just the OG around there, PDC. I can I not expect to die, I was born to fuck. I'm terrorizing my community with a baby snub. I'm like the black eyed peas asking where's the love. If you don't know about PDC, that's old school, get me, so yeah, man. Would you say, I was out here from early, man, and working hard from early. I didn't mm. know. Man's gonna be big and performing and doing shows and that. Yeah. I just thought, man's just rapping and just in the end, yeah. Like, like, and like, and like, I'm just gonna be here and still rapping. Like when, when, when was it you felt like uh, more than just more than just South London knew knew about you? There was twice. One time, the first time I knew I was getting known was when we were, I was chilling like around here, somewhere around here. I can't remember where we was, but my friend, he was like a trapper. He go, he went to bust a shot somewhere. He came back, he's like, raw, the bear girls talking about where's Sneakball? We heard he's, we know he's from Brixton. Where does he, where do they hang? This is when we're young, you know. So yeah, there's like well, how bear, old you at this time? Probably like 17, 18. This is when oh, I dropped that track, hold you, yo yeah. sexy, I'm a yeah, yeah. that. So yeah, they're like, where's Sneakball? Boom, boom, boom. Then he's he told them, bro, where where we was in Angel Town. But bam, bro, the girls came. They're gas to see, man, they're taking pictures. That's the first time I'm like taking pictures. Okay. So, from there, we knew something's happening, innit? Mm. But then there was one time I went Camden. Camden at three, three four o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. And I was on the high street. The video was on YouTube. It got taken down. The school got it taken down. But there was like school kids, yeah? And then they, they just started running me down. Like, <laughs> no way. bear girls, bear boys, they're just screaming. And obviously, and this is like what when you're 17 18. yeah yeah this is 17 18 the videos on it should be on youtube on a like re-uploaded on someone yeah. else's account i don't know but like yeah. wave like us that that's when the whole jet ski wave i feel like kind of first started yeah 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 100 wave like us that was with political p political p sneak ball on a jet ski wave with a very big back jet ski what da -ga -da -ga -da -da -ga -da. she said she won't take it to the mat um angel town and Mike's Road is like both man's ends. Yeah. So political piece from Mike's Road. I'm from here. We just join up. If you see the video, there's bare the man in it. That's, yeah. That's like around here and over there. So yeah, that just come about like that. And from there, we were just making more tracks and then touch a button. Yeah. Come after that. Bro, let me show you the way. Gunman fam, I don't play games. Batman, now I'm out on the raid. And then still breathing remix. That that was shot at right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me and Ads um, shallow. Stars in the making. Grew up on the roads. Me doing good. They wanna see me in the hood moving. Man. Grew up in the place where it's easy to grind. Catch a button remix as well. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Look, crazy. Like, at the time, dancehall was very big, innit? Like yeah. that's when everyone's vibes cartel, Mavado. Yeah. But what was like the the point was like man needs to spin this track, right? Like, I wanna just. You know what, yeah? I don't know if people notice, yeah, but I jumped on that touch of bottom beat twice. Basically, the first version, 
it's me and Temp Man. Yeah. It, it was me, Temp Man, Political Pete, and JJ. But then something happened where it was just me and Temp Man. We did a video to our one. And then Political, Political Peak and JJ did their, did their version. Then after, everything got sorted. We all came back together okay. and said, you know what? We just thought, yeah, let's do a new thing. And then bam, once we dropped that, that's the that's the game changer. And and still to this day, that one gets ripped. Still to this day. Still oh, that's to this what, day. Like, what, how many years ago now? Like nine, ten? Um, yeah, probably ten years, ten years. So um, what, what, explain, um, the, the impact of the, the viral bars, yo sexy, I'm a sexy. Yeah, that that is what started Jet Ski with. Money was gone, oh, yes. yo sexy, I'm a sex freak. Sex. You wanna take it to the max like Pepsi? Pepsi. She wanna ride on my wave like Jet Ski. Like, yeah. because before that, they weren't Jet Ski with, but it's cause I said you wanna ride on the wave like Jet Ski. Yeah. Then, it was like, it w that went viral and then I just, them days it was Facebook, innit? Yeah, Facebook yeah. Um, and and Bebo and yeah. whatever, some magic. My space yeah, 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 yeah. So obviously I'm looking at all the girls in my ends, like that I follow, yeah. There's like Jet Ski Rush, Jet Ski <laughs> Jazz, Jet Ski this, Jet Ski. They're all naming themselves Jet Ski something. Yeah. Whatever their name is, yeah. you feel me? So I'm like, hold on, I'm Jet Ski Sneaky. <laughs> like, fuck, fuck it, I'm taking this. Like, yeah. And then from there, because everyone's saying jet ski i said it's like a jet ski wave yeah, yeah, yeah and then bam that's how it came from but it was all from that tracker i made like yeah, you know, like, yeah, yeah. crazy man. and then uh, you ha obviously you mentioned before hold you yeah yeah and, hold you uh, hold another you, one hold that you. just took yeah 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 hey yo bobo tell them for where i might show she said i'm a sex freak set you want to take it to the max like pepsi, pepsi. she want to ride on my wave like jet ski i think that was the First one to take over. Yeah, cause I remember, like, bro, like, I'll be honest. I remember going to school, jumping on the bus, and hearing having girls play the song yeah. at the back of the bus. Yeah, you know when you the old Sony yeah. Ericsson Walkmans and they yeah, put it yeah, on the yeah. side so it's louder and that. Yeah, shall I tell you why I think that took over? Yeah, because that day, I don't think before that I've seen UK rappers talking about girls like that and and having fun, and even me, I wouldn't have. Smoke up. I wouldn't have been having, I was moving wavy. I was like, flex. That's my first time in my life, like, just <laughs> flexing on the camera. Yeah. Other than that, before that, if you watch the UK rappers' yeah, videos, yeah, we're so all hoodied up, stiff, leather yeah, gloves, yeah. moving gang, like, greasy. Gangster, man. I'm with the, the girls from the area in it, and it's only because, fam, only because I had an incident where something happened to me in my, in the ends, and then my legs were, like, fucked for me. Okay. And then, because I wanted to show that I'm good, I started, I was just flexing, dancing, I was just, that's what, that's what brought out the good, that's what made people like me, just because yeah. he's flexing, dancing, enjoying, now everyone does it, yeah, like, yeah, you've got course. Russ doing what he's doing, yeah. Yeah. but if Russ done that 10 years ago, it would have been special, yeah, like, definitely. Raw, like, because everyone was really on, I'm a bad boy, yeah, 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 do you yeah, get yeah, me, it's yeah, like, yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. man don't dance and that, like, yeah, yeah, mad, yeah, like, yeah, 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 that's how it used to be, but yeah, I'm not going to lie, like, and I also feel like, bro, you, you incorporated, the girls, the yeah, females, yeah, 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 and yeah. it wasn't common. It's usually just yeah, you're yeah, talking yeah. about the ops, you're talking about yeah, what you yeah, do yeah, on the yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. you've done something, and I, and don't get me wrong, the the original was a a, a big song. So yeah, for yeah. someone from the ends to do it, yeah, yeah, yeah. crazy, like no hundred, very impactful, hundred, hundred, hundred. And Bricks is like a Bashman area. Yeah, it's a it's a, it's a, a Caribbean yeah, yeah, area yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, man. And at the time as well, like obviously you're Nigerian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like. At the time, it wasn't really cool to be African. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but that's what I'm saying. When people say it's not cool to be African, yeah, it I, never. I've used never to. been that through that in my life. Like, if someone asks me, "What are you?" I'm Nigerian, bro. If I'm if I'm jumping on Bashman, it's yeah. not because it's not cool to be Nigerian. It's because this is what I listen to. Okay. I listen to Vibes Cartel. You get me? Like, I play this stuff. Like, I don't know which Africans was. We're trying to hide, them, but it definitely <laughs> won't be, like big man thing, man. No, but the, you. But I know what everyone means when they say it's not, it weren't cool to it be. It weren't African, cool to be. For African. me, I've always been African. Like even you check when I was doing the Bashment beats. Yeah. I'm talking. I'm saying kill on Shellet. That means yeah. like what's good or what's happening in yeah. in Yoruba. You feel me? 
Like from early, I've been on my African thing, fam. Yeah, no, I feel you. <laughs> not, not, not when Afro beats started popping, because that's when everyone Bro. came out the woodwork. Yeah, no. when Afro beats started popping. <laughs> no, don't get me wrong, but it, there was a there was a, a moment where it was like when people used to ask people where they're from, yeah. everyone used to just say Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. Not I don't me, know though. why. Not me. <laughs> but other people, I've asked them where are you from, and they yeah. said Jamaica. And when yeah. I asked them again, they're like Sierra Leone. Like. <laughs> <laughs> so it's mad, like. I feel like at that time, uh, North, East, South and West were all jumping on, on the hometown, on the yeah, hometown yeah, rhythm. Yeah, yeah. Um, explain like the thought behind that and like why it was so impactful, just for the viewers who don't really know. That one there... That, that's just a big tune on its own. Yeah. Adele, obviously. And then, yeah, like, it's, it's a touchy tune. It's, mm. And I'll, I'll just talk, the things I'm talking about in it is like, just real life stuff in that was going on at that time in my hometown. Talk about my brethren's that's passed away, going through like court cases right now. But my love, them dons down south, Lambeth, be the place that I'm from. I'm never part time, I put it in full time. Everyone was interested in us at that time, yeah. like Brixton and Peckham at that time, so. I feel like that's another reason why that one, people don't forget that one a lot. Yeah. Me doing the tune with gigs, that was a big moment for me, like, just being with gigs, working with him, seeing how he works, because he's like someone 10 years ago that I saw do it first. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this is man's inspiration. This is what made man go ham. Even like, I might even like, Rap like him or something like that. Yeah, do something. Yeah, yeah, I used even used to go mm, in my yeah. adage back then. <laughs> Cause the gigs. So yeah, like And touch road like a cab man, old school man, just jump out with mad man. Mm. Mm. My name hold way, I ain't in the gym. In the gym. I get it cracking. It's, it was good when we made active and it was good for South London as well. Obviously growing up, there was always this one story that you most probably need asked about this a million of times. But yeah. it, it's a story about you turning into a cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Explain that story, because to this day, I don't understand it. And it's like, from what, yeah, you go, you explain it. All right, cool. Basically, the story's not true, but basically, <laughs> fucking, um, the Peckham boys are meant to have chased me into a Brixton McDonald's. And then when they kick the toilet door open, there's a cat there with my boxers, tracksuits, trainers, and everything. And then, but this is what I'm trying to say. If that story is true, yeah, you need to call the Peckham boy. There's not one Peckham boy that said, yo, it was us that chased him. You know, like that. Like, there's no, someone just made that up. I don't know what it, what made them come up with that. That's crazy. It's crazy. So it was not true at all, like? It, bro, if I could turn into a cat, bro, <laughs> come on, man. I'll be out of it, bro. I'll be out of it. It's crazy. But I, feel, I think those are the things that keep you alive. Do you get me? Yeah, those, yeah, yeah. Little those things kind like of... that. No, no, no. It's that. It's things like that. Other things need to happen other than your music mm. to keep you alive, like keep you in people's names. There's something, there's something mysterious or special about you. Mm. Not just a cat thing, just different things that happen in your life other than music. Mm. Keeps you alive, keeps yeah, you relevant. Definitely. What about linking up with Chip and Movado? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a moment as well. The big moment. That was a big moment because that was like... Early days. That was early days that I'm seeing Chipmunk on TV singing with Chris Brown. The next couple of weeks, I'm linking him to do a tune with my Vardo. Southside, I roll around Brick. If you see me in North, I'm waving with chips. And I'm from Brixton. Like I said, that's Bashment Town. Like, man, just <laughs> listening to my Vardo yeah, every day. Regular. Yeah, so now I'm on tunes with them. I'm thinking, no, nah, this is coming. This is mad. Like, I don't know what's happening at that time. And like I said, that if it was now these things are happening, it would be different because. I'm a musician now, like, mm. I'm on my... Your grind. Graph. Yeah, yeah, my grind, like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm working. But then it's like... You're still... I've done you that, still... I'm, on, I'm on the block. I'm chilling okay. on the block, I'm not even thinking about it. So at those times of the releases, you're still in the ends? You're still... I'm on the ends, touch a button, times that I'm, I don't have Twitter. I have Twitter, someone's using my Twitter, like, one of my brethren. Yeah. But I don't tweet or nothing, I don't do nothing. I don't yeah. go on social media, nothing, like... Just, I'm just in the hood. Yeah, I don't, that's why I'm saying, I didn't really know I'm popping or what? I don't. I don't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even when I got like a top forty, I didn't know back then what it means. Like now, if I have a top forty, I'm 
probably for having a little get together. Yeah, little vibes. On yeah, it. man. Back then it was like top boy. I'm chilling in. I'm just chilling still. Like, still. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. It's been so. It's been so crazy. Like to see um, your your influence and your impact, not just on the culture but globally. Like even if you go back, having Drake shout you for. Before everyone, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, big up, big up, yeah. all the bricky boys, yeah, you man, know, for real. Them. yeah, 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 great guy, man, uh, very talented, huge fan. Yes. Uh, I was very inspired by like um, just his whole movement. I, I was with Sneak Bowl like every day, yeah, you know, just, uh, just rocking. Are you with gonna him. try out the jet ski wave? I mean, I'm on the jet ski oh, wave oh, every day, I've been on it, yeah, I can need a girl with an African back, right. Sneak to the vault. <laughs> exactly. No ping ping, nobody go text me. That's my joint, man. For That's crazy. That was crazy as well. And now you look now, it's like, oh, it's Drake. Like, yeah. he shouts everyone. But yeah. now, like, when you look back, it's like, rah, like, yeah. Sneak Bowl was yeah, the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. How, how does that make you feel? No, it makes me feel good still because, like I said, I, I was in jail and then I heard Drake's album, Take Care. And then I'm listening to it, then I'm like, raw, this guy's like talking about things I go through and my life and that. Mm. Then I heard the next track and I'm like, raw, that's something I will say. Mm. Like, and then further down the track, I'm hearing like, you saying, fam, I'm on the next thing, YM, CMB. Then I'm like, raw, I swear I said, fam, I'm on the next thing with my GG team. And then further down the track, he goes, how you mean, how you mean, fudge? And then I'm like, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is mad. But I still didn't think he's copying me. Or yeah, you just think it's a coincidence. Yeah, I just thought it was a coincidence until I've come out now. And then I woke up one morning and my phone's just booming. And I've seen screenshots and people just messaging me. Drake them <clears throat> tweeted, he's in Amsterdam on a jet ski wave, where to sneaky. And then from there, it was like, like I was hot already, but you see from there, I was now the man. Like, <laughs> yo, I was that man for bro. And, and that was like, what year was it this, at this time? I think that's all 11 or 12 or all 12. Yeah, it's the, this is the soldier boy of our generation. Come on, this, oh. come on. Soldier boy. We need a bow and Drake suit, trust yeah, me. Yeah, word. You dropped a, a tune with um, OG Nicky. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was on my Nine Lives Yeah, that man. Project. Um, that was the remix so I used to. Trying to flip that grub, I got my mask on, trying to rub that. Yo. Yo, don't tell me about used to. <laughs> I want to know if you do shoot. Nikki back mm, then and mm, working mm. with her now, like, mm, mm. what's be that relationship being like and how did you guys meet as well? Because mm. I remember, like, that's another mm. viral moment. You've yeah, had so many yeah, yeah. viral yeah. moments, like, when you and OG Nikki dropped the first track yeah. and people took it in and like, bro, what's yeah, this, yeah. like? Every song can I rock, then I don't need jumping. Sexy, sexy. She wants sex me. It aren't just me, and I'm a sex piece, so. I'm a little jump on a jet ski. Back then, when she done that freestyle, and she went viral. Get fucked from the back, screaming la la la. I fuck six men on the camera. My manager and that hit her up, and then that's how we done the, the tune back then. We've been following each other, but I ain't seen her since then or nothing. Like, mm. I've just, we've just been cool. And then when I was doing this mixtape, I think I kept seeing her doing freestyles little freestyles or something and yeah. then I saw that she jumped on this challenge so I was like yo cool you know what I'm just gonna get her on it no matter what like 100% gonna get like, her like you mentioned Young and you being on his 8 or nothing remix yeah, yeah, yeah. and having like mad people in there yeah, like yeah, yeah. Stormzy, Bashy, Angel, Benny Banks, Banks. like there was loads there was even k Coat done one yeah j Huss done one Everyone don't want that. Yeah, <laughs> it was crazy then. Mad moments like. I know she got a man, man, I take a man, yell them bang, bang, bang. Say she take it from the back, man, that was all chat. Yeah. Bam, bam, bam. Like, that's what I was saying before, like, every one to two years, you've always had something impactful yeah, yeah, happen yeah, within yeah, the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, la, la. That be. That was a, what was that? That was on my nine lives. Yeah. Me and Day I'm gonna be the one she run to. Oh gala, oh la la. Dappy's been cool for, for years. years. From back in the days, like. So yeah, we've made like at least three, four songs. But that's the only one that's 
came out. Came out. Yeah. Well, did you used to listen to like when end up days? Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll listen to that like Channel U days. Okay. When you're just watching Channel U, end up man knew all them songs. Get me so. Life was a blur, but all I remember is black shirt, bare carrots, and my Yeah, Dappy doing the working with Dappy was like. I was waiting for that. Like even when we made the songs before. I wanted to drop them ones, but okay. it's good we dropped this one now. I was just waiting for the right song. The one that makes sense. Mm. The plugged in J Way, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, one's yeah, going yeah, off yeah, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's yeah. talking about that one. Yeah, that one's crazy, man. It's crazy. Team shiny. I turned that block to a crime scene. Bear, 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 bear. bear man rapping the booth. Chase. It's all lies. Where's the proof? Where? The drill thing. The drill thing. Yeah, man. Fuck that. Up. <laughs> I'm the drill king. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let Russ hear you. Help <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Maybe Shark and I will come back. Come hey, Russ is killing it though. Yeah, no, big up Russ though. The fact, man. He's killing it still. Hey, I thought you were going to come with the big A chain, man. Oh, I got it. But you know what? I didn't even put it on straight away. I was rushing out with my son, fam. I thought I was going to be late. Yo. Uh, well, how was that session? Crazy. Mad. Mad. <laughs> Is it? The energy must be crazy. Uh, that energy was wa he was walking in and out of both studios. Basically, there's Mad. like five studios in it. Yeah. So I was in there, he was in the next room. And then fucking, he was recording a song in there, came in there, did, did his four bars, went back to do his other song. When I've done my four bars, he will come back, <laughs> do his, but his energy, like, we were just lit. You know, like, it's, it's, that needed to happen. Yeah, fire. I'm going to put that on my mixtape that's coming. I need to oh, store my mixtape, right. trust me. Yeah, yeah. But either way, Jet Ski Way can leak it. coming soon, <laughs> or out now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, boom, this is going to be on it. You're going to hear it on Crazy. it. Yeah. This one's M24, Sticks, and me. I was on Jet Ski Way. Yeah, this is going to be on my mixtape as well. Fire. I get that paper, I'm working, working, GB, GB, lurking. I think I ain't home, I'm still on a bomb, bitch, leave me alone. You see, I was bumping, I showed a bomb, man. Cause she knows that I need to do it properly. I don't catch feelings, let's get money, I'm dropping a brick. Bro, and you written the story. Are you, man? Hurry up! Let's go! Let's go! Bro. Yeah. Recorded the song in my bedroom. Yeah. Swear down. Wow. Catch me. In the streets, it's every man for themselves. One day, your day one could be the person that kills you. Hate, jealousy, and greed. Stay safe in these streets. He ain't safe in the ghetto. You can get shot in the ghetto. Stay safe in the ghetto. Still money over girls, dog. And now you're living, dog. My brother doing life, living with the prison gods. I've been writing bars, hoping that I get far. Cause where I'm from, every week you hear a gun blast. Round air, man, get smoked, it's no joke.